An original stock free and running condition would cost you about £3 million today. It's far cheaper to build a replica on a 432 chassis. Um, they're great for films, they're great for demonstrations. And unless you're really knowledgeable, it's very, very difficult to tell the difference between the reproduction and the, uh, and the real thing. Now the beauty of the M30, the M18, the Hellcat, which is going past us now, if you want to buy a tank, that is the best tank in the world to buy. Unfortunately, I've got no more left, so I can't flog you any. <laughs> they're superb, they're fully automatic. They've got dual control, so the driver can drive it, or the co-driver can drive it. They'll go up to 70 miles an hour, absolutely flat out. They're brilliant pieces of kit. The engine is a um, it's a nine-cylinder Continental 975 engine which propels the Sherman tank. Now that engine in the Sherman propels a tank which is weighing between 28 and 32 tons. That Hellcat only weighs 13 tons, so you've got an engine that's used for a 28 or 32 ton tank. You put it in a tank weighing 13 tons and it'll do 70 miles an hour so maneuverable, fully automatic, you just put your foot down and go. Absolutely superb. Unfortunately, like all these things, the price has gone through the roof. And the price I was selling them for 20 years ago, you can put two zeros on the end. That's how sought after they are today. So we have the heaviest we have the heaviest tank, tank destroyer that the US Air Army had. There's only one instance recorded during the Second World War of a Sherman...